This is Spearfish, and it was designed and built by world-renowned luthier Rick Toon. It feels amazing, looks amazing, and has shockingly consistent and beautiful tone up and down the entire neck. Spearfish has a combination of features never before seen on any other instrument, and I'm truly honored to share it with you on today's episode of Guitar Innovations. I want to start today by just taking a step back and looking at Spearfish. Yes, it's an amazing feeling and sounding guitar, but it's also a work of art. We have a handcrafted piece of swamp ash and in select places you can literally see and feel the chisel grooves. But then we take that raw organic wood and add an aircraft grade aluminum neck, carbon fiber pickguard, and modern electronics. It's a stunning synthesis of natural and man-made materials. And the tone is shockingly similar to that design aesthetic. Spearfish has amazing warmth and it sounds extremely natural. And that's the type of thing we usually associate with wood. But then it has perfectly even tone and sustain on every single note. And that crazy consistency is the thing we want from man-made materials like metal and carbon fiber. And although we have all of this metal and swamp ash, the guitar is only about seven pounds, so it's definitely not overly heavy. This guitar is really an amazing showcase for the idea that an instrument is not just a group of specs, it's an entirely unique experience. And I say that because there are a lot of specs about this guitar that on paper I don't like, but the second I started to play it, it was very clear to me that all the specs of this guitar they all fit together in an amazing way and I find it all extremely comfortable. So let's take a tour of Spearfish and talk about how it feels and sounds starting from the headstock. So this is of course an extremely modern looking headstock. It's aluminum just like the rest of the neck. We have hip shot locking tuners, then we have a composite nut and we're on to this amazing unique neck. So this neck is Rick Toon's original patented design and it's machined from a single billet of aircraft grade aluminum. So of course, when we're talking about a material like aluminum, we expect it to be extremely consistent and that's exactly what this is. There's no truss rod, there's no adjustments. It's designed to be perfect all the time and honestly, that's what I've experienced with this guitar. Every time I pick it up, it just feels exactly the same. Tuning stability has been absolutely flawless. So again, there's no separate fretboard and neck. It's just that one piece of aluminum. Then we have stainless steel frets and we have a multi-scale. So on the high strings, we have a bit more of that slinky, less paw style feel. And then on the bass strings, it's a bit more snappy like a Strader Telly. If you watch any of my other videos, you know that I usually don't prefer fan fret style guitars, but I just found this fan fret supremely comfortable and I had no issue playing any of my normal chords with this particular guitar. So since I play a lot of jazz chords, one test that I like to do with a fan fret guitar is to go down to the first fret and play an F dominant 13 chord. And on almost every single fan fret guitar I've tried in the past, this chord in particular and a few others have been unbearable for me to play, especially in this lower register of the guitar. But the thing that I noticed with the Spearfish is that every chord just feels normal to me. And I think that has to do with how this area of the guitar is designed. If you look closely, you'll see that the first fret area and also the area behind the nut is pretty much the same height and you also have some space behind the nut where the tuners are not yet beginning. So in other words, when I put my hand down in this first position, it feels a lot like a regular guitar. Now in general, I usually go for a chunkier style neck, and this happens to be one of the most thin necks I've ever played in my life. It's not only thin, but the back is very flat, and then it kind of curves out a little bit as you get to the edge of the fretboard. Although it is extremely thin, I found it very, very comfortable. And it, it's kind of shocking to me because again, I usually don't like multi-scales, I usually don't like thin necks, but I've been playing this guitar nonstop and it's been extremely comfortable and it hasn't caused my hand any of the fatigue I usually associate with a thin neck guitar. So I think this is a great example of you have to actually sit down and try every instrument and you can't just look at a spec sheet and know exactly what it's going to feel like. We have a 16 to 20 inch compound radius and I really feel like that contributes to the overall consistency of feel from the first fret all the way down to the last fret. And not only is every single note very precise and round, there's also just a ton of sustain. I mean, just listen to this. And then just a couple of small unique details here. 
The inlays are actually just punched into the aluminum itself. So you see these dots and those dots, you can actually feel them. And then on the back of the guitar, we have these dots. They're kind of like side dots, but they're not exactly on the side. And as you're moving your thumb along the back of the instrument, you can actually feel those dots and you kind of get used to knowing exactly where you are just based on where those dots are. So it's very tactile, it's very unique. Of course, we feel that aluminum on the back of the neck instead of like a gloss or a satin finish. And so I, I, I'm kind of just shocked. I, I have no real words to describe how this feels besides amazing and extremely consistent. So just to kind of wrap up my discussion about this whole consistency thing, I wrote an arrangement of the jazz standard where or when, and I wrote it like seven or eight months ago. I noticed that when I was trying to play them on my other guitars, I couldn't get the tone I was looking for. And that's because the arrangement starts on fret three, ends on fret 20. So finding a guitar that was going to have great intonation, a consistent feel, and most importantly, consistent tone and sustain for the entire fretboard, I, I mean, I never noticed that being an issue until I made that particular arrangement. And when I picked up Spearfish and started playing it, it was clear to me that that arrangement would sound great on this guitar, and I think it does. So this might not be the type of thing you think about every single day as a guitar player, but when you experience it, it's hard to go back to playing other guitars. So the aluminum neck is secured to the body with Rick Tune's special system here, so it's a bolt-on design. And the carving of this upper horn is fantastic. It's actually a huge carve in the front. And so when you put your thumb in the base of the neck and start playing, it, you, you can just get to every single note no matter how flamboyantly you move your hands and it's just extremely comfortable and a unique feel overall. So now we're onto the body and we're going to continue that theme of this guitar totally surprising me. It is very unique looking, it's a very unique feeling, but again, it's also crazy comfortable. So when we go to the forearm contour, we have a pretty substantial cut here. And in the past, I've talked about having really big forearm contours. I tend to feel like I'm sliding off of them when there's like a satin finish and a big forearm contour, but this guitar doesn't have either of those things. So the finish isn't satiny, but it's also not glossy and sticky. It's kind of, again, Rick Tune's special own thing here. And then we have the chiseling as well. So when you put your forearm on here, you have that nice tactile feel and you have that comfort of having that extreme contour, but you definitely can't slip off of the instrument in any way. So I really feel like this extra chiseling here along with the paint, yes, it looks gorgeous and yes, it's aesthetically pleasing, but I feel like it also has a real function. And then on the back of Sparefish, we have a similar design of the forearm contour, but of course it's time for the belly cut. So I like the way that this guitar feels over the right leg while sitting. It's extremely comfortable, but it's even more comfortable when standing. So the bridge is Rick Toon's patented intonation cantilever bridges and these are made out of stainless steel. Another unique small detail is this output jack and how it's a piece of aluminum that's again bolted to the guitar instead of being carved into the guitar. So as we move to the electronics, we have our carbon fiber pickguard and the pickguard also has these three holes in between the two humbucker pickups and I really feel like this contributes to the overall instrument's loudness acoustically. And I also think it gives a little bit more warmth to the guitar, almost like a semi-hollow kind of a thing. For the pickups, we have the Polymath pickups by Bare Knuckle. We have a volume knob, tone knob, and a 10-way switch here. So on the top bank of the switch, we have various humbucker tones and combined tones. But then when we hit the switch down, we have another bank down here of single coil tones. So. I think when people see a guitar like this, they automatically assume you have to play music that's very modern or very fast. And of course you can play that stuff on this guitar. Look up guitarist Gabriel Levy. He's an amazing guitarist and you can see him playing instruments by Rick Toon. So you can of course do all the modern stuff, but it sounds amazing. I mean, I can't stress this enough. It sounds amazing for jazzy stuff, 
for like stratty type stuff with the single coil sounds. It's an extremely versatile instrument. Sometimes you get a guitar that's made out of different materials like metal or plastics and it does sound different at least in my opinion but I don't experience that with this guitar whatsoever. It just sounds like the most warm beautiful guitar you could ever play but it just sounds and feels that way for every single note on every single fret. I mean I, I've, I've never felt anything like this in my life. Never. So just to conclude this is a guitar that I don't want to give back to Rick Tune. It's just so unique and so beautiful sounding. And again, my favorite thing is the fact that every single note everywhere on the fretboard just sounds even and consistent and punchy. But at the same time, it's also just supremely comfortable to play. The tuning stability is amazing. And yeah, this is everything you could possibly want from a boutique guitar.